Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's been such a while since I've picked up the camera. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram, I've been really active over on there. But I've just, I've just been feeling a tad rubbish, to be honest. Um, not just like in general, but I guess I've been having some issues with my skin. I broke out in like a big rash across my chest and just like different things. I didn't really know what it was. I think it was some sort of allergy. Um, and yeah, I've been struggling with my skin on my face for a little while. The only issue now is that the skin underneath my eyes is very dry and sore and sometimes a bit red when I wake up. And I think just little things like that, even though it sounds ridiculous, they just really affect how you kind of operate in day-to-day -day life. I think they just kind of affect me more than I realise and now I'm like, oh, I haven't filmed in ages and I'm like, well, maybe it was because I wasn't feeling great and I just didn't feel like picking up the camera. So I thought I'd just give you a little explanation about where I've been, a little catch up. Last week, Chester went on a work trip, so I had the week near enough the whole week to myself at home and I've been really active as I said over on my Instagram so I've been focusing a lot of my time and energy on creating content over there. I've really missed my YouTube platform so I'm kind of like putting my foot down and getting back to it because as soon as I get back into the swing of it I know that I will absolutely love it again and I just saw I just saw lots of friends and family last week just to kind of fill the time so if anything I was more busy than ever because I was kind of you know filling my time where otherwise I might be alone and yeah now it's kind of like back into the swing of things Chester's home and we only have just over a week so I'm filming on Monday today and on Wednesday it's a week until we go away which is super exciting. We're going to Tenerife for five days. A relatively short but a great time to just get away and relax and I feel like we both need it. Yeah it was relatively last minute. We only booked it like two weeks ago if that um, and yeah we're going in like a week so it's crazy exciting but I've been madly trying to get holiday outfits and things together so I think I'm going to film some videos before we go I'm thinking about filming a pack with me video and over on my Instagram I'm thinking about filming you know some like holiday reels and there'll be pictures and things of outfits I'm taking and that kind of thing so yeah I know I've already like plugged my Instagram a few times but definitely trying to post and be a lot more active and sharing things that I really love over there and just basically stop overthinking things which is something that I'm apparently doing a lot of at the minute. So my hair could do with a bit of a wash really I'm actually getting it done at the end of the week. I've got a really lovely week this week I've obviously got work and sorting everything out but I'm getting my nails done this week I'm getting my hair done so I'm super excited I feel like my hair is in a real need of a colour and a lift um, but it is super curly today and that's because I've used my heatless curler which I haven't really mentioned I don't think on YouTube that much um, but that is the next product we're going to be launching on Tree Neutral Collection so it's a silk heatless curler as you can see I've only like literally just taken it out in the past kind of like half an hour so it's starting to drop a little bit and it'll kind of like drop to a nice not like a wave it'll still be curly but it'll drop even more it goes from like tighter ringlets to loose and I've just found I've been using it all the time for every night out if you ever see any like pictures or anything I've always been using my heatless curler and it's been working absolutely amazing it works a dream as well um combined with the air wrap so i often when i've washed my hair i'll dice and air wrap my hair put some curls in it just the 40 millimeter spiral curls and then i'll sleep in my and then i'll sleep in my heatless curler as well and it just kind of like solidifies the curls more if you can't tell like i am feeling so much more positive in myself i've been listening to jacqueline hurst's audiobook which is called how to do you and i've been listening it I've been listening to it on Audible and I found that so much better like going out for a walk, in the car, anywhere, just listening to a chapter or two of the audiobook. It's just so much more convenient for like my kind of lifestyle than sitting down and reading a book. So I'd highly recommend if you're wanting, even if you're just wanting to like read or listen to books for pleasure rather than more like self-developmental books, then Audible's absolutely great. So yeah, today I picked up the camera, have a little chat with you guys, catch up where I am. I've put the bedding in the wash this morning, which is why the bed's not made because all the bedding is in the wash. I'm gonna go and do a food shop. See, so yeah, I thought we deserved a little catch up and then I will take you with me a few days this week we can go get my hair done and my nails done my nails for 
this I can just have a little whole life refresh and and kickstart back into filming some videos for you yeah mind obviously the bed and everything because that needs to be made soon but i got this cardigan recently from h&m i've been wearing it like all the time since i got it just with like some black gym leggings and it's just so comfortable you know you just want to throw on an outfit you don't want to think about it too much like this is just the perfect throw on outfit i absolutely love it and yeah, I think even though it's knitwear, it's still kind of perfect for spring. It's a really nice light colour and it's not too thick. It's just so comfy. I can't even explain. I've literally been living in this. Chester actually brought me back a present from his travels. He went to Madrid, actually. I don't know if I said. Um, but it was just on a work trip. And he bought me back some of this Coco Mademoiselle Chanel perfume. I used to wear this when I was younger, maybe when I was like 20, 21. Um, which I know wasn't that long ago, but I ran out of it ages ago and just haven't worn it since so to start wearing it again I just feel like I can't smell it on myself but Chester can still smell it really strong and also outside our new home is looking gorgeous this tree here is all blossomed it's just such a beautiful view to look out to and wake up to and there's blossom all over the grass obviously some of the trees have bloomed a bit more we've got a few more leaves and things but I was surprised that this one actually blossomed, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to head to the shops and get a little bit of a food shop for this week. Chester said we could do it when he got home from work, but I just feel like it would be nice if he comes home. That's probably him texting me now. I feel like it would be nice if he comes home and the food shop's ready. So I think we're going to have pasta tonight, like tomato and pepperoni and red pepper pasta. I am excited for that. As I say, we've been so busy and out and out for dinner with friends and family and things. We've barely had any meals even at home since we've lived here, never mind in the past like week. So yeah, the house has all like come together now. It's really lovely. We're really settled in. We actually just need to start spending some more time at home because we always just seem to be out and about and busy, which is so wonderful, but also kind of exhausting. So I'm going to head off and get some food. So I'm back from the shops, went to Aldi, so I just thought I'd like run through what I got just in case it interests anyone. I feel like this is looking very colourful. So all this was about £40-ish and I did get some like sun cream so that kind of like bulks up a little bit but for about £40 on food. So I got some bread rolls, these are the oven bottom muffins. I always remember my grandma having these and I used to love them so I thought I'd try them out. Some tortilla chips, I got some cotton buds as well. Um, and then I got two packs of strawberries, grapes. These reduced fat garlic bread slices are gorgeous. And I think for a while they took these away, but they're back and they're very good. If anybody is interested in calories, these are 251 calories for three slices, which is pretty good. Some breast mini fillets and some pork. So I think we're gonna have um, enchiladas one night. It's basically fajitas, but wrapped up with cheese on top. And one night we're going to have teriyaki pork. And then tonight I got some pepperoni because we're going to have a pepperoni and pepper pasta. That's going to be this evening's meal, which will be delicious. I got some pak choy to have with the teriyaki pork. Pak choy is so good and such a good um, vegetable to serve with anything kind of Chinese or Japanese or anything like that. Love that. Um, got 12 eggs. I literally go through eggs. Chester doesn't really eat eggs, to be honest. Not that he doesn't like the beach doesn't, but I eat loads of eggs. I love scrambled eggs on toast. And then I got some of these Fiber Now bars, which are basically like the Fiber One bars, but Aldi's version. I got one in milk chocolate and one in the peanuts. I got some baby leaf salad, two packs of peppers, um, and some ham for sandwiches. And then I got some of these new sauces. So poison and garlic teriyaki and katsu i thought that might be interesting maybe we could put some like chicken dippers in or something i was thinking with rice and like make a really quick like chicken katsu fake way um just some chopped tomatoes top up and some of these which i always think are really handy to have in the cupboard and i got some of these light chocolate pots so milk chocolate and milk chocolate and caramel they're 64 calories each so they're just like a good little snack um crunchy biscuit spread which is basically biscoff some wraps for the enchiladas and some onions for them as well and then some rice to go with the teriyaki pork got some sweets just as a little treat just some cheese and then i got this sun cream which is kids but that's all right i am a child of my mum the uva on it is five star which i always look out for so yeah just got all this food 
for like 40 pounds which i think is just amazing aldi always blows my mind i've changed tops by the way if you're wondering why i am in a different outfit but this came in a zara order and i was just like i'm impossibly going to put it on but look how curly my hair is still from the heatless curler it's absolutely amazing stuff we have been for the past like kind of few weeks or so getting Acado orders delivered which have been great but they are notably more expensive um, and especially there's only two of us so we don't even need to feed that many mouths but if you have like a big family they're definitely they definitely get expensive and I just think good old Aldi never lets me down and there's so much choice now and it's so like such good value it's ridiculous a so, romantic yeah. meal for tea this evening We've got pepperoni red pepper and tomato spaghetti which is delicious garlic bread got a little bit overdone but yeah. And of course got a truly neutral collection. So I'm at my mum's and she's baked some cute little buns. So I'm having one of those, which look delicious. The cute little like carrot cake buns, I think, but yum. I'm trying to find anywhere where you can be propped up where I don't have to hold you so I can show you, but the scrunchies have arrived, which I'm loving. So I've just taken some pictures, but this is the new color. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna call it yet. It's either gonna be coffee or espresso but it's the most beautiful like chocolatey color it's absolutely perfectly with the other colors we've had a restock of the oyster which has been our most popular so far then we have our ivory which is beautiful and if you need a present for like a bride or bride to be or anybody like that or just yourself really i wear my ivory one all the time then this one this is like a perfect little gift yeah they look so cute as a little trio let me show you this is a little trio so the ivory oyster and then the new like coffee color coffee espresso type color i am loving them so each of our scrunchies come presented in its own individual pouch um which makes them like the perfect gift or it's a great place to store it when you're not using it because i'm always misplacing my scrunchies i thought it'd be a really nice idea for them to come in an actual pouch so you can take them in your bag with you traveling they make a great gift but also just a great handy place to store them these are 22 mom silk so they're the highest silk you can buy and the best silk for your hair they make the chicest accessory and they're also really good hair care i wear mine literally all the time i love them and um, these are slimmer little slimmer scrunchies to go with the heatless curling kits so with that you get one of the curling ribbons they're upstairs now at the moment but i will show you at some point um you get a heatless curling ribbon two scrunchies and a clip which is all presented in a bag as well so it's all in a truly neutral collection bag um so you can just store it all away and it's got a lovely little place to live also makes a beautiful gift so those were little behind the scenes of tnc and stuff that i have been waiting for for a very long time and working on as you can probably tell the delay has basically been because the heatless colors arrived and they weren't right they weren't the right color obviously i want everything to be as good as it can be i'm not going to sell anything that i wouldn't use and absolutely adore and purchase myself which i obviously do purchase it's my own little business so um if you do want to support me or if you're fancying any kind of silk luxury goods if you need a gift for anyone if you want to pass the message on to your partner for your birthday or anything like that um there's some great little things and obviously we will be extending the range so yeah we have got some bits going and i'm sampling other things but we've got some beautiful luxury faux fur slippers which i live in they are insane they're so soft and the soles are amazing just to be worn inside and outside of it you know from taking the bins out or doing any like pottering jobs um and then obviously my scrunchies which i wear all the time and we've also got candles which i know it's not heavily candle season at the minute but we still burn a candle every night at the table or um put one on the windowsill or something it just makes the room smell really beautiful and i still think it's nice to get cozy on an evening while you're watching tv and stuff so yeah we still love a candle in my household so for other candle lovers perhaps you would like to try one of our tree neutral collection ones um because there's still some available how wonderful did they all look together i'm so excited for them to launch and see what everyone thinks i will show you the heatless curlers but i took some pictures of them so opened up they look like this um so it's like a silk ribbon and then you get the two silk scrunchies but they will be presented in the bag folded like so with the scrunchies over them and then you get this beautiful like marbled clip as well so yeah they're really good value for money and obviously they're going to last like 
forever, I would have thought. We've got two colours of those. This is going to be our oyster colour, and then we've got the silver as well. So two colours to choose from. I think I'll do like a completely separate video with a tutorial maybe showing what they look like with just the heat and then what they look like with the Dyson Air up as well and show you both. Um, but yeah, love it. So I've been absolutely completely rubbish at picking up the camera and sharing things with you over the past few days but as you can hopefully tell I've had my hair done so I've spent today and this afternoon in the hairdressers. I love just having fresh blonde, fresh roots, just feels so good. I've just quickly got changed because Chester and I are going out for some dinner. We're just going to like a local Chinese place but it is absolutely divine the food there we've been we've been going quite a lot recently actually which isn't great but also is delicious so so good so got my nails done yesterday as i said i was absolutely rubbish at picking up my camera but and i get a nice hot chocolate but it's always just the hardest choice picking what to get so i usually always go for french or something quite neutral i decided i was going to go for something a little sparkly um because obviously we're going on holiday and stuff so um, I got a little bit of a glitter fade. They look, they, they look so wonderful today when the sun was shining. Yeah, these are my nails. You can just see the kind of like graded glitter, like a little bit of iridescent glitter on a neutral background, which is Build It In A Bottle Gel, which is so, so good. I would highly recommend finding a salon that does the gel butter builder in a bottle. Um, it's really strengthening. My nails never, ever break. They are so strong. I usually go five, six weeks without getting them done again. Absolutely amazing. So these are going to look great for my holidays. So we're going to head out now and get some really yummy food. It's bank holiday weekend this weekend, so we have a busy weekend ahead. So I might continue this vlog and take it on with me this weekend. Tomorrow we're not doing a great deal. Then Sunday I'm going out with my mum and my sister. We're going to the Ivy in Leeds. We got my mum and Mother's Day voucher, so we're going to go and have some lunch there. So there's lots of eating out and getting ready. And then obviously Monday is a bank holiday, so Chess is at home. And the best news in the world is that we finally have internet which we have been without for about three and a, well it was about three and a half months ago when we first made the inquiry and they quoted a month which was like a month for internet like when we both work from home and my job is basically solely on the internet like how is that going to work and um, it's turned out to end up being three and a half months which is honestly just ridiculous and um, caused obviously a lot of stress but was so pleased to finally have it done and eventually when they came to do it it didn't seem like it was a huge job anyway it's just obviously miscommunication and delays but we've got it and that's really all that matters also i also wanted to mention this time when i went i didn't have my hair trimmed which i always have it trimmed um because because obviously if you've got split ends or dead ends or little wispy bits it's really good to have them trimmed off but this time my hair was this time I was kind of hoping that because I look after my hair really well that I might be okay not getting it trimmed if my hairdresser thought it was like acceptable and she was like it's still really level it's in really good condition it feels thick and healthy and actually you could probably start having a trim every other time you go but yeah if I wait a little bit longer between trims I'm hoping that it can have a little bit of opportunity to grow so I've been taking quite a few different like vitamins but the main ones I've always take is the hair burst vitamins I speak I've spoken about these many times on my channel before they're absolutely great they are full of like everything they are full of absolutely everything that your hair needs and as well as using like like hair masks and my general like shampoo and conditioner. I've also been taking really good care of my scalp, giving myself a bit of a scalp exfoliation and um, because obviously that's where the hair grows from so you want it to be nice and kind of healthy and for optimal growth at the root as well. I take these every single day, two of these every day. Then I do have a discount code which is CLO20. I'll leave it in the description below along with some of my recommendations. Um, but it's definitely like, I use the I use the shampoo and conditioner for dry and damaged hair. Um, even though my hair isn't necessarily dry and damaged, it can get dry and damaged quite quickly. And obviously it's like bleached with highlights and things, so I need to be really careful with it. So yeah, they've got glowing reviews as well from other people if you don't want to just take my word for it. There's Chester. We're going to go out for some dinner now. And I'll show you what we get because oh, the order is absolutely incredible. <laughs>
are just in the car now. We're on the way, Chester. He's been doing this the whole way, which is why I've not been able to vlog. Payback from you earlier. Why? What was I doing? Cheeky. I wasn't being cheeky. The thing is, you give and give and give, and then you don't stop. It's so annoying. Anyway, expect it to do this continually because Chester is a <laughs> child. <laughs> um, we're on the way to Bradford to the Alhambra because we're going to the theatre this evening. We're going to see The Lion King, which is a West End performance that's currently doing the rounds in the north, basically. What are you laughing at? The rounds on tour. It is on tour, it's on tour, rounds. doing the rounds, like whatever you want to call it. We're going to see it. I bought this for Chester for Christmas, like three years ago. It's obviously been postponed due to the pandemic and rearranged for now, it just so happens. It's the day before we go on holiday, so we've been frantically packing all day. Well, I say we, I mean I. Time today basically getting all sorted and packed, but obviously ordinarily it'd be ideal to have the evening to get everything sorted. The saving grace is that tomorrow we don't fly till the afternoon, so we've got time tomorrow to get last bits together. We're going to Nando's for some dinner and then heading over to the theatre. <laughs> right, I'm gonna read the brochure. You're gonna read the brochure? <laughs> I thought it was called a programme, not a brochure. I'd treat you to a programme. Yeah, so forward thinking me three years ago got some good seats. Can't wait for this. The McFlurries for the way home. We missed out on ice cream during the interval because because the toilet queue was so long that by the time I got back to my seats, they they were restarting the performance. So yeah, missed out on ice creams, but we've got them on the way home, which is nice. How good was the Lion King? It was so so good. It was literally incredible. I will fill you in when we get home. So we're home from the theatre now and. Literally, it was just absolutely phenomenal. I've seen The Lion King before on the West End, but not since I was about six or seven, I think it was. My parents took me and my sister down to London when we were younger, and we had like, I think we saw two performances then. I think we saw Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and The Lion King. So I obviously haven't seen it in many years, and I don't really remember it. I remember bits of it, obviously, but not any impacts, and I would have never appreciated it as much as um, I did now. I absolutely love going to the theatre. It's like one of my favourite things to do. I really, really, really appreciate like just theatre in general, the acting, the music, the costumes, the amount of effort that goes in behind putting on a show like that. I think we all take for granted and it was just absolutely phenomenal. Like the costumes were amazing, the set was incredible, it was really like immersive, the scene changes were so good, just it was so funny, like there were so many funny things and jokes and gags um, and yeah it was just brilliant, the songs were amazing, so many of them were like true to like the movie and Lion King that I have loved and known growing up, it's just, it was such an amazing performance. I know it's a super popular one and probably lots of you have seen it but if you haven't and you get the opportunity to see it either in London or on its tour because it's quite often touring I think so if you get any point any chance to see it I would 110% recommend honestly it was fantastic worth every penny the tickets were quite expensive I think that's just generally the theatre now um, but we had such a good view I knew we were sat in the stalls but but because I'd booked these like three years ago, I didn't really know, I couldn't really remember like what seats I'd booked. Um, but Curly Past Me was doing a good job because it was absolutely amazing. Like the most central view, but we were high enough to be able to see the stage just brilliantly. It was just amazing. And obviously I won't like spoil too much, but there is a lot of things to see when you're sat in the stores that come down, like the aisles and stuff. So I genuinely thought that sitting there was probably the best idea. Obviously I didn't know that going into it, but if I was to like recommend it, I'd be like definitely sit there um, so you don't miss out on like 
the main main things um which i think if you do sit in like the dress circle you do kind of miss out a little bit on seeing it to the same extent but it was honestly if you can't already tell i just thought it was amazing so did chester we honestly just had such a wonderful evening we went for a lovely nando's and we're all excited for our holiday so i'm going to sign off the vlog here because i still need to wash my hair and get sorted and it's like past 11 o'clock now um for going away tomorrow which is really exciting we're just we just said like how wonderful it is that we've had the opportunity to go to the theater to kind of like start our holiday and a lovely week together so yeah it was so wonderful i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching i've absolutely loved filming and getting back into the swing of things this week so i really hope you've enjoyed this video sorry that i've been a little absent over the past few weeks but um, hopefully I'm back now and I've got a pack with me video coming which will be my next video and then I will have the Tenerife vlog whilst we're away and once we're back I will edit that and get it up for you so thank you so much for watching please do consider hitting the subscribe button if you'd like to join I post all things obviously lifestyle beauty fashion related and of course travel now so yeah, I would really really love if you hit the subscribe button and yeah hopefully I'll see you in my next video which will be my pack with me so thank you so so much for watching and I will see you soon.